Hi everyone, this is Xuan Wang from University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Today I'm going to introduce our work, Comprehensive Named Entity Recognition on Core 19 with Distant or Weak Supervision. Let's first take a look at the overview of this task. In response to this COVID-19 pandemic, the researchers from Allen Institute and many other leading research groups have released this COVID-19 open research dataset. It contains the most up-to-date literature research papers related to COVID-19 and many other coronavirus groups. Named entity recognition is a task to automatically recognize and type those entities in raw text it is critical to facilitate many other downstream NLP method development, such as relation extraction and also literature search and question answering for the COVID-19 studies. So here we propose this cord NER system and this cord NER annotated dataset. It can automatically annotate this cord 19 literature dataset with very minimum human efforts. It does, it does not require any human effort for training data annotation, but it takes some human input seeds as guidance to recognize any new entity types. The Cord NER dataset covers 75 fine-grained named entity types that are specifically related to the COVID-19 studies. It achieves much better performance compared with other baseline bio-NER methods on some benchmark bio-NER datasets. Here are the links to our archive paper, to our website, and also to our dataset, the fully annotated core NER dataset for download. Now we can take a look at our method. Our method called Name Any Recognition Without Human Annotation. Basically, it only takes the raw corpus and some human input dictionaries to and then try to recognize those new types defined by the entity sets in the dictionary. This dictionary can be some existing knowledge bases or some new types specifically demand, defined by human input sets. Our methods contains two steps. First is a dictionary guided representation learning, and the second is a distantly supervised bio-NER model. For the first step, dictionary guided representation learning we try to learn a better representation of the candidate entities in text by satisfying two criteria. First is coherence, which means entities should have embedding that are close to their types embedding. For example, in this embedding space, the embedding of SARS and MERS should be close to the coronavirus type. The second criteria is discriminativeness. Basically, by satisfying discriminativeness, embeddings of different entity types should be far apart from each other. For example, in this embedding space, the embedding of coronavirus and viral protein should be far apart from each other. By satisfying these two criteria, we will be able to learn a better representation of all those candidate entities that can further boost the NER neural model performance. For the NER neural model training, we have two steps. First is entity span detection, which means we want to see like which tokens should come together to form a candidate phrase or entity. For example, sleep disturbance should be together as a candidate entity. The second step is entity type classification, which means that given those candidate entities as spans, we want to know its type. For example, sleep disturbance is likely to be a disease, while drug action, it can be an unknown phrase. The advantage of splitting the training in these two steps is that for some unknown phrases, we can skip, skip them during the training process so that we can only train entity type classification on those confident entity types to reduce the false negative labeling problem of the distant supervised NER setting. Now we can take a look at some of the results here. For our entity types, we include a total of 75 fine-grained entity types. Those 75 types come from 
like four different sources, 18 general types from supervised general NER model spacing, 18 types from sun spacing, 127 types from UMLS and nine new types defined by human. And here you can see those new types including coronavirus or viral proteins that are very related to the COVID study. For each new type, we only have 10 to 20 human input seeds. Now here you can look at the results. We can see like first compare on those general types such as gene chemical disease on this COVID-19 dataset. Our methods can outperform the exact existing methods such as science basic by a large margin. Moreover, we see on this benchmark bio NER datasets, our methods also outperform Sam Burton science basic by a large margin, and we can annotate much more anti types without any human annotation. Here we can see some top recognized entities. For example, for sand symptom, we can see top ones like cough respiratory diseases. And also for like coronavirus, we can see top ones like SARS, COV, or MERS COV. Here are some visualization of our final annotation of the 75 types on the corpus. Our method can be generalized to any corpus, such as new corpus or biomedical literature. So here you can see we can annotate a lot of more new types in addition to common types such as gene and chemicals. We can find new types such as SARS-CoV-2 as coronavirus and bat and pangolins and wildlife. With this much richer entity type annotation, we believe it can further help the development of many downstream NLP tasks for the COVID-19 studies. Thank you very much for your attention.